this was an excited team to play today. Um, excited because they got an opportunity, but excited because they knew they deserved this opportunity. And when you deserve an opportunity, you want to take advantage of it. And um, I thought we took advantage of it against a great football team. <clears throat> and um, don't want to play them again, but for this Saturday, it was all good. We don't ever talk about the next game until it's here, but right now, I think we've traveled, we've played in foreign territories. Last year's experience about playing the second round, you know, everybody looks at it as a positive, but to our program was a loss. So, you know, our plans are to, to finish what we do in the, the next round of the playoffs and, you know, go out there, show up, and be successful and bring home something different than last year. They played exactly the way I expected them to play. Uh, they ran the ball very well, played solid defense. Uh, I don't think we put enough stress on them anywhere in the game to, uh, you know, get them concerned. They really had the pattern that they needed, uh, run the football, shorten the game, take time off the clock. If you look at the possession time, 39 minutes to 20 minutes. So uh, they, they did what they had to do. We had trouble getting them off the field. Uh, the first half. Here's what we did. We played the base defense. We played our first preseason call that was installed. Our defensive coaches, um, Coach Navaiza, Hempel, um, have played them before. One was at Delaware and one was at Rhode Island. Um, they understood what they needed to do. And against a team like that, wants to do a lot of window dressing, but do the same things. You play your base defense. We played one call the whole game. Um, changed up some of the movements up front and that's experience of our defensive coaches and understanding how to take advantage of the situation and when you study their film you see when their big plays came out it was always when people took risk and we took no risk played our same coverages and just taught our kids how to play their gaps fit their gaps and play it fast and you know I give a lot of credit to our defensive coaches to sticking with it. I like their defense uh, I like their kicking game uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I would have hoped that we would have brought our A game today because we needed it, uh, and we didn't, and they brought their A game. So they're a very good team. Uh, I think they're going to they're gonna give some people some scares uh, in this run for a national championship. I like them. I think their coach is great. Um, I like their players. They're classy. And, uh, you know, hats off to them. They're very good. We want to keep everything in our box and treat every down as first down. And that's what we did. We treated every down as first down. Told the kids that's how we were going to do it. <clears throat> Meaning that it didn't matter if it was third and long or second and one. Everything was first down philosophically and um, wanted to keep them in a box. And, you know, we, 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 we as a staff spent a lot of time on how we were going to win the football game. You don't win the football playing with plays. You win the football game by having a philosophy. And the philosophy was not to let their offense have the ball. And um, it worked.